Hey, all my controllers of the world. Yes, sysadmins, I'm talking to you. It's Lex from PDQ.com. I'm going to take you through how to do a schedule that's got multiple auto download packages in it and basically when to use that. First of all, let's just go build a schedule. So I'm going to highlight 7-zip because I do want the machines in this uh, that I send this to to get 7-zip. So let's just start out by building a new schedule. And we're going to call this the new computer schedule because this is going to go on new computers. Okay, triggers. You know, I don't know how often your new computers come in and out of your network. I'm just going to run this probably daily, just once a day to catch any new machines that are on the network. Starting at 9 a.m., yeah, let's start it at 9 p.m. just for good measure. Targets. Now, I'm going to choose my targets from Active Directory, and it's going to be a container in Active Directory. We've got one called New Computers. Surprise, surprise. So this will go on any of the machines that get added to that new computers OU. It's going to run on those. Uh, we'll come back to the packages, but uh, options, stop deploying to targets once they succeed. Very important. Okay. And packages. Right now I've just got 7-zip, which is an auto download package. To attach additional packages right here, attach packages. I want them to also get reader and Chrome and notepad. There you go. Boom, 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 boom. Got four auto downloads in one schedule. Options again, make sure we stop the deploying targets once they succeed. And, uh, you know, make sure your targets are what you want, which is new computers. And there you go. There you have it. There is a schedule. It's got multiple auto download packages. And in this case, I like sending that out to any machine that's new on our network. So thanks for watching. I'm Lex from PDQ.com.